What is going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm opening a Prison Blaster 2023. I haven't opened any of these so it's my first one and these are pretty new. They just came out, I don't know, I think uh, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I can't remember. But they've been in source for some time and in these you're going to be looking out for Penmanship Rookies and there's also Blaster Exclusive Green Pulsers number 25. Just super, super tough to pull out of these, and there's some more stuff on here. Of course, you get your eyes prisms, which you get three blaster exclusives in each blaster box, and I think they did this last year as well. I believe they started doing that in the 21 22 season, so of course, look all right, but then again, you're not getting much from this. A lot of people don't like the products this year, so gonna be. Finding a lot of this stuff in stores, for sure. It's not like in the good old days when people used to get a lot of this stuff. Especially in 1920, that was... That was insane, in my opinion. I got a cut. Did I get a cut? No, didn't get a cut. Kind of felt like I got a... You know when you get paper cut? To pull one of those... Pulsers... I don't think I've ever pulled a pulser out of a blaster. Maybe from a seal pack. I don't remember. Maybe I did. I know. I, I bought a lot of this stuff. Especially when I got back into the hobby. 17, 18, I bought the most. A lot of seal packs and blasters. And I think some gravity feed packs as well. But before that, like when I came back into the hobby, I didn't actually... See any Prism? I mean, I think I saw Prism only in Toys R Us. And that was one year before they all closed. But I didn't see any of it at Target. And I was not going to Walmart at the time, so... I don't know, maybe it was a Walmart, but didn't see any Prism. The only stuff I saw was Dumb Russ. Basketball, some threads, a lot of threads, I remember. Siege, uh, some other product. I can't remember on top of my head, but um, yeah, Toaster Rust had um, MB hoops, you know, Dumb Rust, a lot of cool stuff, but no Prism. I don't know, not sure exactly why. Jordan Poole, it's looking interesting. Lakers and Warriors series, something else. All right, Cole Anthony. Ice Prism, so that's the first one. And these are not color as, you know, a lot of us already know. Which, I think they were... I think in the Mega Boxes you can actually get them color, like reds. And I think Fanatic exclusives are different, like greens. If I'm not mistaken, I, I don't remember. James Harden, green. So this is green retail exclusive. And that is not a rookie, but Charles Barkley. Okay. He looks so small right there in that photo, like... I don't know, my opinion. He, he just looks so small there. Okay, there's the silver and the car. Oh my gosh. Totally, totally epic fail right there. Car still in the pack. Marvin Backley. Ice Prism. Silver, not a rookie, Aiton. And a Roby. It's not a rookie. Jalen sucks, second year. So if rookies tend to be lacking in this product, I'll get one or two rookies out of here. I mean, but the way I see things. Cameron Payne. The Rosen. Keegan Murray. It's an impact. And Mosa Dibate, I think. I don't know. Probably butcher that. Is a clipper. I don't follow clipper, so. It's gonna be interesting with that stadium it's complete. The amount of traffic in Englewood. <laughs> I mean, it's already crazy to begin with, but um, 
it's just going to get worse. And one thing is that a lot of the residents there used to, you know, before this whole entire thing went down, you know, like the venues, because they started off with the concerts and everything. And I mean, they used to have all these concerts back in the 80s. Like, I mean, before the 80s, back in the day, Great Whisper Forum. But I kind of stopped doing it for a while. But then, um, I don't know if it was the Eagles, um, when they started doing concerts again. But they were really the first band to play there. La Ravia. I think somebody pulled like a, there was like a bounty card or something of optic of this guy. I don't know. Harry Eason. But yeah, he had signed the autograph card and I don't know, had put the name of the store, the LCS or something. I don't know how it went, but anyway, so back to Englewood. Um, yeah, so a lot of the restaurants back in the day, they pretty much wanted changes and I guess they were sick and tired of all the crime, the drugs, uh, the gangs, and there's not many, I guess, programs for the kids trying to get them off the streets but um, now people are complaining so I I guess they just don't like what's happening now all the traffic and people parking anywhere they want and they're uh, in their neighborhood uh, some people uh, also have found like a whole bunch of trash you know like from people that go to the concerts just like Tossing stuff everywhere around their homes. So, it's not good, I guess. But, I don't know. I mean, people want to change this, and that's what's happening. And now we got people pissed off. So, I don't know what they want. So far, it's a weak blaster. <laughs> Nothing really crazy out of here. Eric Gordon. Okay, got a roadie. Alright, so at least I got a, an Ice Prism rookie. It's going to be a rookie. Jaden Hardy, okay. Jaden Hardy, rookie, and a TJ Warren. Why does it look like a rookie? He looks like a rookie in this photo. Okay, well. Um, I guess not a. I mean. Decent box. Then again, nothing really crazy. Uh, could have been worse. No autos, no pulsars. Like I said, that stuff is really almost impossible to pull at a prism. So that's pretty much it for that. Uh, I do have some stuff that I picked up from the LCS a few days ago. Got some uh, went over some nice boxes. Stuff for my PC, football, picked up some basketball as well. So we got skeets over here, and this is from 1954. Pretty awesome vintage. I mean, these, these cards would actually like talk, they would actually tell so many stories. Just the fact that you know it's just really beat up and really damaged. Just tell you a lot of stories of, uh, about all the owners that they used to have. Um, Laughlin, this one's also damaged. I don't know what happened here. Must have been taped again somewhere, maybe like a wall. I know, like kids back in the day, they also used to put their cards like in their bat room against the wall. So I think that's what happened. I don't know, some kid in the 1960s or 50s was doing that, I guess. Charles C. Good, this is out of uh, 56 tops. I think I got some of these in really great shape, but you know. Then again, some ramp stuff, vintage stuff. I love the vintage stuff. Couldn't pass on it. Really uh, really got a great deal uh, from all these cars. Like, I picked up a whole bunch. I mean, the more you buy, the pretty much the great deal you get. The better. Down Teller. Uh, uh, Deacon. We got Tank. We got Willow Sherman. Ron Waller. Henry Ellert. This is, what is this, 85? Yeah, 85. And some Hall of Famers got over here. 
Tom Fierce, Richter, Olsen, and some uh, couple Dickersons. So pretty nice picks. Once again, some of these cards are not in the best shape, but then again, I don't care. You know, it's just vintage stuff. And here we have some uh, Mr. McDonald's. Chat Ocho Cinco for the PC. I collect this guy. PC him. So Playmakers Showcase. That's out of Fleer. I don't even know what year this is from. Looks like 2004. So it's early days in the NFL. Rickets and Stars. This is the old school Rickets and Stars. And it was owned by Leaf. Tells you the year. Yeah, so 2004. Well, duh, it's right here. Um, what else we got here? Classics, 2003. Very nice. I you played for the Patriots. Tops Legends. Got an SPX, 2007. Threats. 2006, Elite 2006, Don Russ, Chat Ultra Cinco, more chats. Oh, top certify. I mean, top certify. I mean, uh, Leaf certify. <laughs> top certify. More SP, more SPX, and we got another Patriot one over here. 2011 certify. And more certify with 2004. So, all going to the PC. Pretty happy with what I picked. Um, like I said, really great deal. Hope everyone had a great weekend. All back very soon. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.